Ugandans, do you know what your taxes are doing? Here is the answer. Our esteemed taxpayers, the taxes you pay are significant to financing our country's development. Therefore, we at Uganda Revenue Authority, on behalf of the government of Uganda, with pleasure, thank you so much for honoring your tax obligations. Your contribution towards financing government is so important that every shilling paid makes a huge difference. In this video, we now demonstrate how your tax contributions over the past three years, notably 9.7 billion during the 2014-2015 fiscal year, the 11,231 billion during the 2015-2016 and the 12,720.63 billion during the 2016-2017 fiscal year have impacted the lives of Ugandans through the following development programs across the country. Agro-processing plants for maize and rice were established in Chisoro and Tororo to increase the quality of agricultural products through value addition with the agenda of earning Ugandan farmers more income. Government also provided quality seeds, equipment and materials through Operation Wealth Creation to empower the farmers, especially women groups, as one of the ways to promote the industrialization of the agricultural sector. It also established infrastructure to support water for production and irrigation in the eastern and southwestern Uganda to particularly counter the long drought spells that have been a menace to agricultural production and productivity. Eleven new modern markets and 77 rural markets have so far been constructed and 11,000 kilometer community roads constructed to improve market access. The stock of paved roads has increased from 3,317 to 4,919 kilometers, hardly 1,000 kilometers from the 2020 National Development Program target of 6,000 kilometers. This is reflected in the several roads and bridges so far constructed in the different parts of the country. Amongst them are Jinja, Kamuli, Iganga, Kaliro, Soroti, Katakui, Moroto, Oluyo, Anaka, Gulu, Kitgum, Musingo, Mubende Kakumiro, Chivari, Kagadi, Ndaiga, Old Chira Road, and Entebbe Express Highway. With this, the government has been able to increase the movement of agricultural products from gardens to internal and external markets like Rwanda, DR Congo, South Sudan, Kenya, Tanzania, and Burundi. The road network has also led to urbanization and birth of new employment opportunities to ensure safety of children going to school and to increase access to health services. <music> Government has constructed new hydro and solar plants to reduce on the consumer cost of electricity, stabilize the power supply and to increase on her commitment to the rural electrification program. For example, Karuma Dam will provide an additional 600 megawatts and Ugandans will pay 500 shillings instead of the current 700 shillings per unit. The other power plants under construction, including Luvilia, Nkusi, Nyamwamba, Soroti and City solar plants respectively, designed to produce 50 megawatts of power. This far, 113 out of the 117 districts have been connected to the power grids. To improve service delivery in the health sector and to improve quality of the health of Ugandan workforce, several health facilities have been renovated and new ones constructed. These include Kawempe, Chirudu, the Cancer Institute, selected wards in Mulago Hospital and other district hospitals across the country. The efforts also included staff houses for doctors and other medical staff so that they are at all times readily available at the duty stations. The government's involvement in the mass distribution of insecticide-treated nets has drastically reduced the incidences of malaria, one of the killer diseases in Uganda. The immunization of children against measles of up to 96% amongst other killer diseases has reduced the mortality of children under the age of five. 
The coverage of the antiretroviral treatment also increased from 58% to 83% over the past three years. Government fulfilled her pledge to increase salaries of primary teachers by 50% and also focus on improving education services as part of our commitment to human capital development. A total of nearly 4.3 million copies of literacy and numeracy learning materials were produced for 12,198 government primary schools. Government also constructed vocational training facilities as a critical pathway to improve the skilling of particularly the youth to match the demands of the labor market. 4,000 students were sponsored by government in seven universities. Infrastructure was constructed in primary, secondary, tertiary and universities amongst them Gulu University, Agriculture Faculty Block, Classroom and Laboratory Blocks in Laropi SS, Patongo SS Agago, and staff blocks in Bokova Primary School, Mbale District. The government has also increased the facilitation of high institutions like the National Examinations Board that regulates PLE, USC, UCE and other examinations to produce graduates who are able to match the demands of the job market. To promote inclusive access to safe water and to harness proper sanitation and hygiene conditions at household level and in public areas, 15 mini-piped solar water systems were constructed in Kumi, Mpiji, Chiriandongo and in Jinja among others. Several schools received pit latrine blocks across the country and focus light treatments were constructed in Rakai and Ibanda. The government disbursed 75.4 billion Uganda shillings under the Youth Livelihood Program to benefit 130,306 youths. Uganda Women Empowerment Entrepreneurship Program rolled out to Kitgu, Nebi, Kayunga, Wakiso, Kaliro, Chisoro, Moroto, Kampala and eight other districts of which Uganda shillings 24 billion was disbursed to benefit 29,762 women who are involved in agribusiness and other enterprises. 143,268 senior citizens received 25,000 shillings monthly grant. 1,168 children were provided with food items and 180 persons with disabilities were supported. Last but not least important is the stability of the country. All the above successes this far has been possible because of the security within and around the country. In fact, with your taxes, Uganda has been able to contribute to regional security by sending soldiers to keep peace and security in South Sudan and Somalia. For the next 12 months, starting July 2017, Uganda Revenue Authority will be collecting 15,062.43 billion shillings in both tax and non-tax revenues to finance government programs under the theme Industrialization for Job Creation and Shared Prosperity, where government plans to spend 22,002.7 billion shillings. For the record, the themes over the past three years have been enhanced productivity for job creation for the financial year 2016 to 2017 maintaining infrastructure investment and promoting excellence in public service delivery for the financial year 2015 2016 an infrastructure investment for growth and socio-economic transformation for the financial year 2014 2015 all designed to meet the strategic development goals of the country the government of uganda is counting on you Thank you for paying your taxes. Uganda Revenue Authority. Developing Uganda together.